Welcome back to the channel, lassies. It was like a Scottish Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh my we got Billy, Billy Connolly, Connolly on the channel for today. Scottish Arnold Schwarzenegger. And we're doing colonoscopy. This is our second from Billy Connolly. We yeah. did uh, Dwarf on a Bus was the first one that uh, we got around to. And unfortunately, that had a copyright issue. That's why we had to do an overlay on it. Yeah. That's why it wasn't up for a long time. We had done it a long time ago and didn't get posted for a while after we had completed it because uh, the copyright stuff. So I don't know if we're going to have an overlay on this, guys. Yeah. If it is, sorry, apologies. But sometimes we got to do that. And that's why it's taken us so long to come back to Billy. But we did find him funny. Dwarf yeah, on the bus he was, was funny. a funny story. <laughs> yeah. He was great at the storytelling aspect. Yes, agreed. And we didn't have to worry about the Scottish accent being too thick in that one. We were worried going into it because Scott, yeah. Scottish accents can be a little hard to pick up at you times. Yeah, he, he was fine. fine. We were able to pick it yeah. all up. And you guys were saying we got to come back to him and recommend a colonoscopy here. So, you ready great to check, topic. You ready to check out a little more Billy? Yes, let's do it. Let's, oh yeah, and he's apparently a part of the Humble Bumps too. We found that out. Oh yeah, with Jerry after, Rafferty. Yeah, because we did Jerry Rafferty after we yeah. had done Billy, and then we realized they were in a group together, we were which like, was ah, so unexpected world. because Jerry Rafferty was like saxophone solo yeah. and then we had the scottish comedian weird combination <laughs> just recently i had a colonoscopy where they shove a television camera up your ass <laughs> and before they do you see this a terrible thing happens to men after 50, your doctor loses all interest in your testicles <laughs> <laughs> and takes an overwhelming interest in your asshole. <laughs> you begin to forget what he looks like. He's always around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's invasive, I find. <laughs> But before you get this thing, you get these laxatives to take. Now, these aren't your high fiber, natural product made from tea tree and badger's pubic hair. <laughs> you, know, you know those adverts you get on television, how are you feeling listless? Have you lost interest in the children? You see a woman in the nursery going, God, when will this end? You're probably constipated. <laughs> what you need's a good shit. <laughs> Clear your head. <laughs> Go to a friendly chemist and ask for shit easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that. This is like NASA. <laughs> there isn't a natural thing within a mile of this. And you take them all at once and, and, uh, and be quite near a bathroom. <laughs> so I took them and Pam and I are watching the telly, you know. And, I, and she said, have you taken those? She treats me like she's my mother, you know. Have you taken those tablets? I said, I did, yes. Is, is anything happening? I said, what, you think I'm going to shit myself while I'm... <laughs> are, are you panicking? I said, I've, I felt a few distinct rumblings, but nothing, <laughs> nothing to write home about. You know, you know. A few distinct <laughs> rumblings. <laughs> Great way to nothing phrase to that Nothing to write one. home about, though. This is a little bit different the second time around from Billy. He's got more punchlines in this one because the last one they did, Dwarf on the Bus, we waited for like five minutes before he got to the end of the story and there was yes. a major punchline at it the end. It was like you were just engaged in the story the whole time, but the joke was at the yeah, end. Yeah, this is much more fluent with jokes yeah. throughout, which was what we're accustomed to. But also, Billy looks a little bit younger in this one. Yeah, so maybe I also style changed. Yeah, I also feel like although it is still storytelling, it's more conversational. It's almost yeah. like he's trying to have. It sounds like he's having a conversation with the audience, and then with his. I think I'm assuming it's his wife um, in the story, but there's still the story, opposed to it just be like him relate. Yeah, well, that's what I really have liked about Billy thus far in both videos that we've done he's so relaxed easygoing yes. and conversational about it yeah, yeah it really adds this like 
disarming feel to mm-hmm. his comedy. Even though he's just... talking about colonoscopies <laughs> and assholes. <laughs> exactly. But it's just like you can't help but laugh by the way he delivers the stories and the jokes. Yeah. And, you know, it's just sound, it just seems like a guy that you'd want to hang out with and chill and he would be the life of the party just yeah. telling jokes all throughout and you For couldn't sure. stop laughing. <laughs> right. So that's uh, what I the vibe I get anyways from Billy thus far. Have you taken those tablets? I said, I did, yes. Is, is anything happening? I said, what, it's you a, think I'm going to shit myself while I'm... a few distinct are, are you rumblings. Panicking? I said, I've, I felt a few distinct rumblings, but nothing. <laughs> nothing to write home about, you know. No. And then I felt the sort of... <laughs> See in a minute. I was away to the bathroom. I'd hardly got the tweeds to my knees. And my ass was just on its way to the seat. <laughs> <laughs> you know that... You know that way it's... It's like a hose that nobody's holding. I'm looking through the wee hole. <laughs> Jesus. And then it would stop for a sort of breather, you know. <laughs> Your ass is hanging in tatters. <laughs> you go you go to stand up. <laughs> I was in there for days. <laughs> And eventually it calmed down, you know. You can have nightmares now about the visuals of Billy Connolly on the stage. Looking through the hole <laughs> of his <laughs> elephant trunk. <laughs> oh well, I wasn't expecting that. That was a, that was a sharp twist. I didn't think we were going to go that far, but we went that far. <laughs> I was in there for days and eventually it calmed down, you know. And gingerly, I made my way back to the TV. And about 20 minutes later, oh, fuck, I'll never do it. Now, this was the oily discharge. It's heart stopping. It doesn't go or anything remotely like it. This doesn't even touch the sides. It goes. <laughs> it doesn't stop. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'll be like a walnut when this is finished. <laughs> Oh, God. And your arse is burning. <laughs> you have to put the toilet paper in the fridge. <laughs> Holy macaroni. <laughs> and that was Billy giving us some great visuals there. Oh, my goodness. What is colonoscopy prep? Yeah, it wasn't anything about colonoscopies. <laughs> just about prepping for the colonoscopy. It was just the experience of getting ready for the colonoscopy. Yeah. And um, that's Did not what... not sound very pleasant. That's what I have to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Those pleasantries displayed by Billy Connolly. Connolly. Anyways, um, oh. funny though. Yeah, it caught me off guard. I was like, whoa, we went all the way there. Yes, yeah. It was uh, hard not to laugh at that one. That one, I think I was smiling all the way through yeah. because I knew he was... the uh, sound effects down pat there. Yeah, those sound effects added to it. That's for sure. <laughs> so our second introduction to Billy was uh, entertaining at the very least, yeah. you could say. I want to see more from him, so give us some recommendations. Yeah, I think there was a few other ones that you guys had recommended in the comments, and uh, make sure that you're subscribed. Most of our subscribers, or sorry, viewers are not subscribed. 85%, in fact, of our viewers are not subscribed. So you got to get on that subscription button, guys. Keep Come coming join back. our community. Keep viewing the, the videos. You might as well just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay. And uh, we got comedy, sports, music, and history on the channel, as well as some military-based stuff. So we're getting all different kinds of content. Yeah. 
and lots of um, variety. Yeah, try to keep that variety going. So we'd love to have you as a part of our journey that we've built over the past year. Plenty of subscribers, but we want plenty more in the future because we want to make this as fun as possible. So come join us on this journey, and we'll see you tomorrow when we drop our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.